Most often, God works miracles in quiet ways. He has indeed worked marvels at St. Lawrence's in the past 120 years. Starting as a small drawing room school way back in 1900 at Vallavatta, it has blossomed out to be one of the leading Catholic girls schools in Colombo. Ever since the management of the school was handed over to the Good Shepherd Congregation in 1955, the school has been under the guidance of the Reverend Nuns of the Good Shepherd Congregation and has created a name for itself well beyond the confines of Colombo 6, touching the shores of the island. The present principal of the school is Reverend Sister Jeevani Martinez. This anniversary celebration turn us thankfully towards the past to magnify the Lord, our Heavenly Father, for all the marvelous things He has done. At this moment, let me kindly remember the founders, the sisters, the staff, and all the persons who have dedicated their lives towards the development of this school in the past and present. 120 years of educating young girls in the Catholic environment is indeed something to celebrate. May God continue to shower his blessings on St. Lawrence's convent as it continues to grow and flourish in time to come. As the school grew in wisdom and age, it is with gratitude that we remember few great personalities who together with the past principals contributed to the upliftment of the school. Mrs. Audrey Vijay Ratna, the first vice principal of St. Lawrence's convent, is one of the great pillars in the success story of the school who dedicated 50 long years of her life to St. Lawrence's. Hi everybody. I thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity and privilege to share a few words reminiscing about St. Lawrence's, the school that I spent two thirds of my life and live back with memories, fond memories of the time I spent there with the staff and the students and the authorities. It was really a wonderful time. St. Lawrence's, as you know, was founded by Mrs. Janet Puria. I won't bore you with all the details. I'm sure you can pick up all the information from any other uh, written documents. She started this school in her little home, which was named Lawrence Villa. The little school grew to be quite a big school. It accommodated both boys and girls. And she found that um, it was not enough to accommodate the children, this Lawrence Villa. So she moved across the road and came to the new premises, which 
the school occupies today. Unfortunately, none of the original buildings are there. The last to go was the hall, or rather, yes, the hall, which gave way to the new hall. But when I came, the teachers who had been there earlier spoke of uh, a little place somewhere near the uh, boarding where the hostel was, which was the staff room. And they said after the new buildings were constructed, they had a new staff room. Anyway, St. Uh, Lawrence's was the name given by Mrs. Podia because her original school was called Lawrence Villa. It was pure coincidence that the parish was also dedicated to St. Lawrence's. Maybe Mrs. Polia, who was an ardent, very strong Protestant, knew something about the life of St. Lawrence and she decided to stick to the same name and it was called St. Lawrence's. Then as she grew older and she handed over the reins of management to her, to her niece, Mrs. Gladys Polia, and then finally she decided that it could be better run by some organization because they were now becoming rather old and couldn't handle all this. So Father Robert Fernando was the parish priest at this time and he was given the first option, option of buying this. This was very, very valuable land. <laughs> Father Robert had a lot of offers going up to two lakhs those days, not millions, two lakhs for that block of land. But Mrs. Polia gave Father Robert the option of buying it for 150,000, losing 50,000 rupees on the deal. That's a lot of money. But I want to pinpoint something about Mrs. Polia. She was a real died in the wool educationist. She wanted this school to go on and she didn't mind suffering a loss for the sake of education. In conclusion, I must say I enjoyed my stint at St. Lawrence's. If you let me go on, I can talk for hours, but time is running short. I must say we did an excellent job with the children. All the teachers were very united. We didn't have infighting, we didn't have tail bearing. We did our best, whatever we could do. We were not skilled, we were not specially trained. But what we had to do, especially in the case of sports meets and skalaolelers and single holidays and this and that, we just used whatever talent we had to train our children. And the girls responded marvelously. The final prestige of a school lies not in the buildings, not in the academic records, how many A's, how many D's and the public exams. It lies on the product that we send out into the world, our children, our students. And I must say, our girls, wherever they are, we always hear very, very good reports of them. That is our pride and joy. And the girls are so simple, they still come to us, teach this, teach that, and wherever they see us, they always come and talk to us. Whereas we hear of children in other schools who ignore their teachers. So I better wind up now. Thank you very much for giving me this chance. And my dear students, you know we are there for you all the time. We love you. We will do our best for you. And we wish you God's blessings. As I always say, remember the values we tried to teach you while you were in school. So may God bless you and your families and all the best in the coming years. Thank you. It is with sincere gratitude we recognize the contributions of Mrs. Marietta de Silva, the second vice principal of St. Lawrence's Convent. A glimpse of the success story of the school 
which produced thousands of good citizens with knowledge, wisdom and spirituality for the greater glory of God. As we celebrate the 120th anniversary of St. Lawrence's Convent, I would like to speak a few words about my school. It has been 120 years since our school began and since then we have achieved many things. If today, if we talk about our school education and extracurricular activities, it is in a top level. In 2012, one of our students achieved the third island rank in A levels commerce stream. In 2008 and 2009, our drama club was awarded the second and third place in Raja Lama Natulela. Our senior Western band won the gold medal and, there, and it was named as the best school brass band for the year 2016 by the Festival of Western Music and Speech. In 2018, our senior choir was awarded first place in provincial level and second place in national level in Western music and dance competition. Also, our Interact Club was awarded as a Silver Interact in 2019 along with the Citation Award for Green Life. Sports also have a great place in our school. In 2013, our table tennis team became champions in Sri Lankan Schools Table Tennis Team Championship. In 2009, our basketball team under 19 won the All Island B Division Championship. Also, our team under 15 won the Zonal Championship in 2020. One of our athlete coach, Shenali Virapura, also has been selected to Krida Shakti for her performance at national levels. There are many more achievements we have achieved than I mentioned before, so I would like to tell, it is an honor for me to be educated at a school like this with many achievements and I am proud to be the head prefect for the year 2020 of St. Lawrence's Convent. Thank you. Mrs. Umadanti Jayaman, a past Laurentian, is the present vice principal of the school. Education does not merely mean good examination results, producing young girls of integrity who will contribute to society as good worthwhile citizens has been the most important outcome of our school for the past 120 years. My message to all present Laurentians as a proud Laurentian Study while in school with the best of your ability. When in future you walk out of these portals into the wide society, walk the walk of a Laurentian, brave, loyal, honest and God-fearing citizen with dignity and radiate the light that we have showered upon you from St. Lawrence's that you consider as the second home as I do. Thank you so much. To our patron saint, St. Lawrence, we add our salutation with prayer so that his inspiration and guidance will lead us ever onwards 
to reach greater heights and achievements. God has been generous with his abundant blessings to St. Lawrence's and has helped her to grow not just in age but in wisdom and grace. To him we humbly rededicate our alma mater and declare that all we do would be for the greater glory of God.